Ryan and Terrine present Know Your Body, a comprehensive look at how exactly your body works. Today's topic, the endocrine and nervous system, and how that relates to you. I'm sure you're asking yourself at this point, what is the endocrine system? Well, Billy, that's a great question. The endocrine system is a series of glands in your body that secretes hormones in order to regulate the body. Now you must be wondering, what is a hormone? <laughs> well, Billy, it's no secret. You're not going to find the answer in there. You see, a hormone is a very special thing. It tells your body exactly what to do, and gives you that tingly sensation while standing next to Jenny. But how do these hormones get distributed to the rest of the body? Through the hypothalamus in your brain. Think of the endocrine system kind of like a fire station. As soon as your body needs something done, it signals the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is kind of like the fire chief at a fire station. As soon as he gets the call of danger, he sends out firemen to correct the problem. It does this by sending information over your nervous system. No, Billy. Not that kind of nervous. I'm talking about the nervous system in your body that controls every action you take and every movement you make. To understand more about how your nervous system works, we'll need to think of a telephone operator. Say Grandpa Joe needs to call Uncle Mike about your upcoming birthday party. To do so, he must first dial the telephone operator. The telephone operator must then reroute Grandpa Joe's call to Uncle Mike using a switchboard. Your nervous system works in a very similar way. Instead of Grandpa Joe making a call, there is a sensory neuron informing the brain that something needs to be done. The brain, instead of an operator, then formulates the appropriate response and sends it to a motor neuron. It's kind of like how Uncle Mike receives the information from Grandpa Joe about your upcoming birthday party. The process in which these messages are relayed from your sensory neurons up to the brain and back down again to your motor neurons is called the feedback loop. Think of it kind of like a record player. The record spins round and round on the player playing your favorite music until you tell it to stop. A negative feedback loop, however, involves the stopping of a positive feedback loop returning the body to normal. Say you didn't get enough water to drink at recess. Your sensory neurons tell the brain this, and as a result, your brain tells your hormones to tell your kidneys to start absorbing more water. This is called a positive feedback loop. However, when your body starts taking in too much water, the brain again tells your hormones to tell your kidneys to stop absorbing more water and return to normal. 